We use a single fight net to catch daddled bullfrogs and metamorphosing larvae. The fight net is composed of a lead net and that's about a six meter long net that will lead the adult bullfrogs or the larvae towards the fike itself. In catching bullfrogs and tadpoles we tried different methods. Uh, we built large Ottoman traps, uh, we used floating uh, traps, but from our experience the fikes are the most effective in catching both adult frogs and tadpoles. If uh, you want to catch the adult bullfrogs you can use a larger mesh size. If you focus on catching smaller tadpoles you would need a finer mesh. So you can buy fikes in different mesh sizes. Mesh, mesh size of uh, about 10 millimeters is very good to catch small tadpoles. You can have uh, 15 or 17 millimeters to catch adult bullfrogs. It's of course important to know how to set up your fike. So in spring, before breeding season, we focus on inshore placement of the single fikes. Because the adult bullfrogs are in the margin of the pond. So they're optimal to be caught in the littoral zone. Single fight nets can be set out by one person. You just hold them in your hand and you fix the lead net inshore. And you walk out in the water and it's very important to have it stretched so that it's fully stretched when you put it in the water. We use metal pins to fix the fikes, both the lead net and the end of the fike. If you want to catch live bullfrogs, we have uh, floating bottles in the inks so that uh, the bullfrogs will not drown. If you want to kill them, you just place them on the water and they will drown. In summer, when there are a lot of tadpoles, we will place double fikes within the open water so we can, can focus on catching as most tadpoles as possible. To place a double fike net, you use two persons. You start at one end, placing the end of the fike, and you pull it open. It's important to have it fully stretched so that the lead net is really fixed and will lead all the larvae towards the fikes. You can use heavy weights at the end or metal pins, which are easier to pull out, but it's needed to be very well fixed because with wind or even large fish that swim in your fike, it has to be stabilized. As a start, if you buy two single fikes, you can make a double fike out of it. You just connect both lead nets. So you have a double lead net of about 12 meters long and at both ends you will have a fike. And those are optimal for catching the larvae. You place them in the open water as long as it's wadeable and safe for you to go in there. But that's the best in summer to catch as many tadpoles as possible. If you want to empty the fike, which is usually done after 12 or 24 hours, you will start at the front end of the fike, because there might be frogs of tadpoles in the first compartments. And you shake them back into the end where they cannot escape. You can empty the fike whether in the water, if you have a big basket, or you bring the fike to the land and empty it on land. Because the American bullfrog is a host of a cartridge fungus, it's important to disinfect all the material you use. So you also always have to dry or spray the fike nets that you have been using before using it in another pond. In that respect, we bring the fikes back to the lab, we set it out on land to have it dried properly and spray it with furcon to kill the chytric fungus. <laughs>